Hello and welcome to Back to Way Bit. Today I'm going to do a very quick video just to show you how to have a play around and try out the scan line systems on the uh, ZX Spectrum core on the Mr. FPGA or in fact any core using the Mr. FPGA and this allows you to change what the screen looks like when you're playing uh, a couple of games or using some of the uh, consoles or computers to make it look more authentic system. So, for example, back in the day, the ZX Spectrum used to use the uh, CRT screens and the CRT screens look very different to the modern TV screens and you see quite a few scan lines and dots running across the screen. So if you want to look at the ZX Spectrum, play it authentically, you can change the screen settings and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Now, first of all, you load up the uh, ZX Spectrum core, which I've already done here, and we bring up the menu bar you press in F12 in the usual manner. You then press the right arrow key to bring up the second menu and move down to video processing. And all you really need to do now is change the video filter using this option here. There are quite a few different ones to choose from. I usually tend to go for the default scan lines option and it best suits me for what I really need but uh, if I turn it on you'll see what I mean and you can see the dots appearing around the screen to make it look more authentic similar to a CRT screen and we'll turn it off nice and clear as if it's a fresh screen and turn it off again and if you go into the options here you can see different options from LCD effects to different scan line options. The one I tend to look at is quite straightforward and it's just the default scan lines. And there are a couple of other options you can play around with as well. The vertical filters and the scan filters. As you can see, I've got it set as the same as the horizontal and if you wanted to you can turn that off and select an alternative filter for the uh, horizontal levels and change your scan filter settings to different options as well but for this as i said before i'll stick to default and keep it the same throughout so let's try and see what it looks like with a game Actually, before I do that, I'll just change a couple of colors on the screen and you can just see the uh, dots coming up. Very similar to how you used to see the old Spectrum screens. So let's get a game loaded up. Let's go for some straightforward and go for bomb jack. And we just play a quick game and we'll toggle between the uh, two screen settings. There you go, that's with the filter switched on. And that's pretty much close to how these games used to be played on the old TV screens. Okay, let's turn the setting back off again. And we're back to near perfect quality playing. Much more crisper, but it's not the authentic way, is it? And let's put it back on again. There we are. Oh, that was tight. Uh, 
Okay, I think I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed that video. And I'll be back very soon. Take care. Goodbye.